In this video, we'll be talking about HER2 testing and how it influences your breast cancer treatment. Hi, I'm Dr. Kylie Lowe, breast oncologist. If you or your loved one have been diagnosed with breast cancer, you would have likely come across testing the cancer for HER2. To diagnose breast cancer, a needle biopsy is usually taken and sent to the laboratory for processing and analysis. If it is confirmed to be breast cancer, then the sample is usually tested for three important tests. ER, which stands for estrogen receptor. PR, which stands for progesterone receptor. Both of these collectively called the hormone receptors. And lastly, HER2. These three tests tell us what type of breast cancer someone has and helps doctors like us decide what is the best treatment. So what exactly is HER2 in breast cancer? HER2 stands for Human Epidermal Growth Factor Receptor 2. This is the protein that can be present on the surface of breast cancer cells. When they are amplified, they stimulate breast cancer cells to grow and divide. When HER2 is tested, it has been either positive or negative. A positive HER2 test means the breast cancer is driven by lots of HER2 proteins and is known as a HER2 positive breast cancer. On the other hand, a negative HER2 test means the breast cancer is not driven by HER2 proteins and is known as a HER2 negative breast cancer. Fortunately, we now have many good treatments that specifically target HER2, helping patients to live longer as well as achieve a higher chance of cure. HER2 positive breast cancers are usually treated with anti-HER2 targeted treatments. Now, up until recently, women with HER2 negative breast cancers will usually not benefit from anti-HER2 targeted treatments. But what's interesting now is many women with HER2 negative breast cancers actually have low levels of HER2 that can potentially be targeted by new treatments. So this means the HER2 is not high enough to be considered positive but the presence of some HER2, even at low levels, can still be targeted by new treatments. This is now called HER2 low breast cancer. To take things further, scientists have also developed highly effective targeted treatments called antibody drug conjugates, or commonly known as ADCs. That can specifically target HER2 on breast cancer cells, regardless of whether it is HER2 positive or HER2 low. This is very encouraging as we now have yet another treatment option for women with breast cancer. So if you have been diagnosed with breast cancer, know your HER2 status and speak to your doctor on what is the best treatment for you. I'm Dr. Kylie Lo. Until next time, bye! If you'd like to learn more about HER2 and breast cancer, check out these videos.